Hi, this is Steve. Today we're going to be reviewing two different light bars by a company called Augsbeam. Um, I did end up purchasing these lights myself off of Amazon. Augsbeam did not send these uh, to me and they are not sponsoring this video. Anyways, the first one is a 9 inch. Let's take this out. So this one is a 18 element LED, uh, 9 inches across as I had mentioned. Each LED element is 3 watts. So this is a total of 54 watts. If you do the uh, calculation as far as how much 54 watts draws at 12 volts, um, it turns out to be four and a half amps. Um, this particular low light is the um, flood uh, configuration. I'm sorry, the spot configuration. Um, so you see the LED elements directly. There's no diffuser over the bulbs. Um, when I show you the 12-inch one, it, it's actually a combination of flood and spot. So um, construction is pretty nice on this. What they end up doing is they end up putting the uh, nuts in here that the bolts will mount through. And then I'll show you the mounting hardware that they actually um, put in the, include in the kit. So uh, this is aluminum construction. It's very nice. They do have their logo here on the side. Um, everything seems to be pretty well made. Um, you know, the cord, they give you the standard, um, you know, the red and the black, and then you end up putting on your own type of plug on there. Um, in the box, you get an Augs Beam sticker, and then they also end up sending you these brackets. I'll show you how to put these on, but they'll basically go into the nuts on there, and then what you can do is you can adjust the light up and down. Um, if you're already using a type of mount like I have on my Honda Rubicon, um, I actually don't need these sliders. I will just end up using the bolts directly into that mount uh, because it mounts on my front bumper and I'm able to adjust it that way. So, uh, pretty nice looking unit. Okay, the uh, next one, this is their 12 inch one. And like I said, this is their combination. It is a spot and flood. So this particular unit, you end up getting, there are 24 LEDs in here, still at three watts each, pulling a total of 72 watts of power. And if you do the calculation on that again, uh, 72 watts at 12 volts ends up drawing six amps. So uh, just like the nine inch model, these uh, center 12 lights here, are actually um, spot. Um, they have the, the clear uh, lens on there. And then the six and the six on either the outsides are actually the, um, the flood. And there's a diffuser that's on here that ends up spreading out the light. Um, when I had first looked at this build quality, I mean, uh, same type of thing. They already, they put the nuts in here for the mounting, exact same kind of mounting brackets. So they mount from underneath. There's no provision to mount um, anything on the side. Um, but the one thing I had noticed as far as some of the quality control, now we'll see if we can see here. If you end up looking into the diffuser here for the flood mode, um, you can see that if I'm looking at it straight on, you actually don't see the diodes they're kind of off to the side. So it's almost like, you know, I'm thinking that the board was maybe just not mounted um, directly behind the lens. My first thought was, oh, well maybe they do it a little bit on the side so that you project more light coming out of the side. But um, that's not really the case because on the other side, the diodes line up, you know, pretty straight with the, um, with the diffuser. So. That was the one thing I kind of noticed was a little bit off. You know, I'm sure it's not a big issue since this is a flood mode um, and it'll be dispersing the light kind of all over the place. But like I said, if I if I look at it straight on, um, you don't even see the diodes here. So um, we'll be doing a, a beam comparison outside uh, showing you both the, um, the 9 inch with the spot and then this 12 inch with the spot and the flood. And we'll show you what it looks like down the driveway and also what the beam pattern looks like um, on the garage. 
Okay, so for putting the mount together, and this is the same for both the 9 inch and the 12 inch, they'll give you two sets of, of these brackets. I've just got one set out here just so it doesn't get too messy here. But basically, um, what you end up doing is you'll end up taking this bracket, you will take the bolt that's got the, um, the hex head on it, actually goes into here. And what's nice is because of um, the indentation in here, it actually locks the head into place. Um, this actually would go through whatever um, you're mounting this to, whether it be your bumper or a bar. Um, you may end up needing a, a longer bolt, um, just depending on you know what thickness you're mounting that into. But then you would basically just put your washer on, and then the nut that goes on the end, and then this is the piece of the bracket then that would mount, you know, onto your vehicle. Then the second part of this is you've got the, the nuts that are in here already. And they give you this circular um, bolt with an Allen wrench on, with an Allen screw on here. And that just ends up screwing into the nut in the light. Like so and then once you get it tightened um, you can end up uh, adjusting this up or down Let me tighten this a little bit more there we go and then you can slide it so that this way you can actually turn the light up or down adjust it so if this is mounted in your bumper you can adjust the light you know this way so like I said I'm not gonna use these uh, because I do have the nylite uh, mounts on my little on the bumper bar um, going across the front so what I'm going to do is the bolts that come out of the nylite will just actually go straight into the the nuts here so I'll save these I may end up reusing them you know for if I remount uh, relocate the existing light that's on there so anyways we'll show you how these uh, how this looks installed on the uh, the machine but let's take a look and let's compare the brightness at night and the beam patterns. All right. Okay, so first up, this is the 9-inch light bar. This is the one that has 18 of the 3-watt LEDs. So please excuse the beeping. Uh, that's just part of my battery charger. It's a jump starter for the car that's powering it. So um, you can see, I mean, this thing puts out some nice light. Um, I can adjust it up or down a little bit. Um, side to side light is pretty good too. So, okay, next up is the 12 inch, the combination spot and flood. And once again, this one is the, the beam is actually a spot beam on this particular model. Okay, next up is the 24 LED. This is the combination of spot and flood. This one has the inner uh, 12. LED lights are the spot and then the outside uh, six and six on either end um, Those are the flood So this thing uh, this thing puts out a lot of light. I can adjust it up and down a little bit uh, Definitely does put out a good amount so a little bit brighter than the 9 inch one uh, The 12 inch they're both really good, but I'll let you decide what meets your needs Okay, so now the question is, which one of the two lights am I going to put on my Rubicon? Am I going to go with the 9-inch or the 12-inch? Uh, currently, the one I have is about a 6.5-inch. This is the one that's got uh, 12 LED elements. So if we take a look at the 9-inch one. The 9-inch fits in between the, the crossbars of the bumper without an issue. 
and it would use the same mounting brackets that I have. It would just basically fit in here perfectly. The issue with the 12 inch, while it's, uh, it's got a lot more, you know, lights and uh, it's a combination of spot and flood. The problem is it will not fit between the bars up here on the top. The only way I could get it to fit is if I mounted it forward here onto the same bar, but just rotated the brackets forward. Um, that would definitely work. My only concern is if I ever end up, you know, putting the ATV in the back of my pickup truck, uh, the front bumper is normally all the way up to the front of the bed, uh, just below the, you know, the back window of the um, the cab. And I'm afraid, you know, this light will be sticking out too far. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go with the 9-inch, uh, plenty of light, plenty of power. I don't think I'm going to need a relay for this. I will just wire it up through the existing high beam switch like this one is. Uh, shouldn't be that bad of a current draw, and um, I think we'll be good. And maybe what I'll do with the old one, the uh, the 12 light unit, is I may end up mounting it on the back, maybe on the box, take advantage of the Phoenix controller that I have, and I can use that as not really a, a backup light, but if I'm doing anything in the dark, as far as loading up a trailer or anything like that, I can turn that light on and, you know, shoot light out to the back if I need it. So I think I'll end up repurposing that. All right, we'll be back once the 9-inch uh, one is on and working. Okay, here's the finished result. I went with the 9-inch, the 18 LED unit. Like I said, the 12-inch was too big to fit in between the bars of the grill. I retain the, my original Nylite um, uh, connectors that go on the bar. And then you can see here how I just use the simple screws that go up through the clamp and into the light unit. And the nice thing about this is what I like, if I would have went with the, the 12 inch one, I would have had to have it mounted out here and it'd be sitting out in front of the bumper. This way, it's actually, it's really nice. It's tucked in behind the bumper, um, should not get, you know, damaged or hit or anything like that. So looks good. Um, that's it. Thanks again for watching. I'll put the links to both of the Amazon uh, light bars um, and you can make your own decision. The one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that the larger unit, the 12 inch, uh, the one with the uh, 24 LEDs, that one, when I ordered it, I did order it with the harness and the switch and the relay only because I knew that one would be drawing uh, more power and I would have needed a relay. Uh, this one still works off of the high beam circuit without a relay with no problem. Tried it out. It didn't blow a fuse or anything like that. So it's all good. All right. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.